Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Today in this video, I will discuss on the rotating frame of reference and derive the expression of centrifugal and Coriolis force in rotating rotating frame of reference. So suppose uh, we have a fixed frame of reference that is x, y, and z, okay, coordinate system. And suppose this coordinate system, we have another coordinate system which is rotating with its z axis fixed with the original that is the static uh, our previous static uh, frame and the x and y axis of the new reference frame that is x dash and y dash just try to imagine that we have this uh, type of uh, frame of reference and one is fixed that is x y z and another is rotating with fixed z axis so as this is rotating now, suppose we are considering a point P and the position vector of that point P is like this, okay? A position of any point, any arbitrary point, suppose in this region, imagine this. Now, as this is rotating, so the observer in the rotating frame of reference, that is in X prime, that is in prime coordinates. So, what will they observe of that point? As this point is fixed in our uh, primary frame of reference, that is x, uh, y, z frame of reference. But as this frame, our as the prime frame of reference is rotating, so the pupil, or so the uh, observer in our prime frame of reference will observe to observe that this point is rotating in an opposite direction. That is, as the frame of reference is suppose rotating in this direction, okay, like this. So the observers in the prime coordinate, that is in the rotating frame, will observe this point to be rotating in the opposite direction. That is, this point will rotate like this now, or uh, like this. Just try to imagine this, in this way. Okay, right? So, as this point is rotating now, now Suppose for a short time del t, okay, for a short time del t, this will be the, okay, this will be this thing, this arc, this arc, suppose this is a point, okay, this is p point, I have been noted, so this is q point, suppose. So, at time del t, after passing del t time, this point is displaced, this this amount of displacement has happened. That means what will be this displacement? This displacement will be equals to the perpendicular that is the radius of this small circle of this circle. That is what the projection of the of our the r vector that is position vector r vector. Or I can simply write this r perpendicular this length. Okay, that will be what if this angle is theta making the making with the horizontal the a position vector making an angle horizontal with the horizontal theta angle so this will be the uh, this will be simply if this is r this will be simply r perpendicular will be r sin theta so r sin theta into r d theta that is we know all if a particle is moving here so at time del t this will press an amount of r d theta right this is theta and this is our r so r this is r and d theta so as i have denoted this with theta so i am denoting the upper angle that is this angle for clearance i am removing the numberings okay this angle is phi okay this angle is phi sorry d phi del phi so del phi and del as this is moving in counterclockwise right in opposite direction so we are introducing a negative sign here okay as this is moving in in this direction right so del phi will be what just omega into del t the traced amount um, traced length is omega del t into r sine theta now i can write this expression like this minus of omega cross r uh, omega cross r del t how our omega is directed upward and our r cap is directed in this way right this is this and this is this so if we cross from this to this 
that is if we cross like this so our finger will be inside the boat that will uh, directed inward the boat and there is a negative sign before that means the fingers will the thumb will be directed like like this right so that will be tangential and tangentially outward so this will be tangentially outward to you so this is right with our physical sense that this is moving in this direction right in the circle this is right in this direction so this is right so i can write this expression like this now initially i have considered that the particle in our rest frame is fixed that is not moving but in our general case suppose the particle is moving with a fixed velocity or constant velocity b in our rest frame okay so in our rest frame with as time elapses then the position of the particle will change that means the position vector will change there is a change in position vector in also in also our rest frame of reference now if we assume that the particle is moving right now right so there will be an additional term that is del r which is change in the position in the s frame now so the total change or the change as seen from the observer as seen by the observer in our rotating frame will observe this change plus this change this change will be there obviously plus additional there will be an change like this okay so this will be omega cross r into dt now i can write i can differentiate it with respect to time so this will give us a del uh, v dash is equals to del v minus del v does not v dash is equals to v minus omega cross r this delta will be cancelled out so, or i can also write like this v as measured in our s prime frame velocity of the particle is equal to velocity of the particle as measured in s from s frame minus omega cross r okay now this is also very important now uh, as this i have i have discussed all the things with geometry as this is valid for every vector right right we have uh, discussed all the things for vectors we have done the calculations for vectors so this is valid for all vectors this expression and this expression is valid for all vectors so and we want to understand or we want to know what will be the expression of force in uh, force as seen from uh, our rotating frame of reference as we know in our uh, stationary frame of reference if a body experiences a force that is if a body experiences a force the expression of force is equal to a equals to m into dv dt this we all know but as here we have seen that the expressions of velocity and positions is changing in our rotating frame of reference right like this so there might be a possibility that our uh, force will also change the expression of force will also change for the observer uh, from rotating frame of reference so what will be that for that we have to calculate or we have to do some calculations with dv dt as when we multiply it with m this will give us the expression of force now as i have said that this expression is valid for all vectors so Trickly, trickly, I can uh, use here the V dash. I can write this expression dr dt in S prime is equals to dv dt in S minus omega cross r. Right? This is this. So, when you put, uh, sorry, this will be r. So, when if we put, uh, in place of r v dash if you put v dash in place of r's so this expression will look like this dv dash over dt in measured in uh, measured from s prime is equals to dv dt measured from s minus omega cross r sorry omega cross v prime this will be prime v prime right so now I can you can understand that this expression will later turn into the force expression of force as when we uh, multiply it with m like this this will give us the expression of force as measured by an observer from our rotating frame of reference now i can use the expression of v dash 
that is this here in this position so what we will get uh, I am cleaning this so when you put that we will get I am removing it also putting that we will get from here we will get uh, V dash is equals to V minus omega cross R that means dv dash dt s prime is equals to d dt of v cross v minus omega cross r minus omega cross v dash so if you differentiate it dv dt minus this fixed and the derivative of this that is omega fixed dr dt minus the derivative of this d omega dt minus d omega dt cross r derivative of this this constant so this will happen minus omega cross v prime okay now we want to find the expression in terms of v dash okay so this will be the force when you multiply it with the m okay we are multiplying so multiplying this expression whole expression with m will get that the force the expression of force in prime coordinate is equal to expression of force in our uh, fixed coordinate or stationary coordinate minus m omega cross dr dt means this is what this is v so omega cross v this thing minus d omega dt cross r minus uh, okay so i am just removing the bracket so this will be this this will be a plus there will be a plus sign and this will be uh, minus omega cross m omega cross v minus m omega cross v prime now you can see that uh, here it is v and here it is v dash and we want to uh, transform all the coordinates in v dash okay so this will be we have to put here the value of the v in terms of v dash that means the v is equal to v dash plus omega cross r omega cross minus f equal to omega uh, m f minus m into omega cross v prime plus omega cross r okay so this will give us f minus m uh, omega cross v prime this is one thing minus m omega cross omega cross r this thing right now uh, and the other terms that is plus d d omega dt cross r minus m omega cross v prime so now the derivative of this that i have done here there will be a plus sign here this will be a plus that means dt of this means omega cross dr dt plus d omega dt cross r that means this right so we take that bracket out this term will be minus d omega dt cross r that means d omega dt cross r here this will be minus here will be some terms okay so this will be minus d minus d omega dt m d omega dt cross r this is the expression of the force measured from a prime frame of reference that is rotating frame of reference so there you can see that these two forces are not equal there are additional three forces the additional three terms which the person will uh, person can see from rotating frame of reference so what are these forces this force 2m into minus 2m into omega cross v dash so this force is called the Coriolis force and you can easily understand this is called Coriolis force Coriolis and you can understand that when V dash is equal to 0 
Note that here V dash is what the velocity measured in S prime frame of reference, that is rotation frame of reference. So when the particle is at rest as seen from rotating frame of reference, so this force will be vanished as V dash will be vanished. Now this thing, this uh, minus 2m into omega plus omega plus r, this is called the centrifugal force. It is the same centrifugal force. Centrifugal force. And when we, when if you calculate or if you calculate the direction of this force, then you will understand that this is always radially outward from the axis of rotation. Radially outward from the axis of rotation. And this force, this is called azimuthal part, azimuthal force. Okay, and you can easily understand that when the ax the frame of reference that is rotating, the rotation of the frame of reference is with an acceleration. That is omega, the angular velocity of the rotation is not constant. That is also changing with time. That is an angular acceleration. If there is an angular acceleration, this thing, then this force will also be active. Otherwise, this force will be cancelled out or zero, simply zero. Okay, so these are the expression of force in our rotating frame of reference if we want to if you want to understand that uh, our earth is also rotating a rotating frame of reference and we are also living in a rotating frame of reference so we will experience these two forces also and as the spin of earth is a constant okay so this time will not be present there and these two things will be present there and the deflection so uh, in northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere there will be some change in directions of the Coriolis forces you can understand that direction of tornado in the southern hemisphere and the northern hemisphere all the things and problems you can uh, do with the help of this expression this fundamental expression with all the terms you have to understand all the terms right and i have also made a video on this topic the rotating frame of reference the arc in northern hemisphere the expression of omega in northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere so that will also help you to learn this uh, vividly so i will give the link in the description box from there you can watch the video also so if you love this video then share this video with your friends and if you are new then subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming videos so take care of yourself thanks for watching